much indeed, Mayor. So, uh, Werner Hoye from the European Investment Bank. We know that finance is key to accelerating the rollout of sustainable urban infrastructure projects. So, tell us more about the initiative called Leadership for Urban Climate Investment, also known as LUCI, and uh, how it addresses the various gaps in local finance to foster and support the transition to carbon neutral and resilient cities, especially in developing countries. Thank you. Thank you very much, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here and to speak to you on this important topic. Four years ago, most of us were here and we celebrated the achievement or the achievement of an agreement on the Sustainable Development Goals. And a few months later, we convened in Paris and celebrated the success of COP21. Well, I think we can say we embarked the right track. But four years later, we can say we are far behind schedule. And this year's developments were a wake-up call for the international community and for most members of this United Nations organization. On behalf of a broad coalition of partners, including the governments of Germany, Cameroon, France, Luxembourg, Mexico, and the United Kingdom, as well as development, finance, and climate finance institutions and city networks, I have the great honor to announce a new transformative initiative to help cities invest in low carbon and climate resilient infrastructure. LUCI, the Leadership for Urban Climate Investment, is launched today, bringing together existing and future initiatives under the leadership of Germany's Environmental, Environment Ministry, BMU. LUCI will accelerate urban climate finance and reinforce national framework conditions for urban investments. It will strengthen the capacity of 2,000 cities over the next six years in project preparation and it will link 1,000 new projects to finance. One way it will do this is through the Cities Climate Finance Gap Fund. Luxembourg and Germany are leading the way here with respective grant contributions of up to 10 and 40 million euros each to the fund. Ladies and gentlemen, the EIB group is stepping up its climate ambitions. We are already the by far biggest IFI when it comes to climate change financing. But we aim to unlock more than $1.1 trillion of climate action and environmental investment over the next decade through EIB financing. A significant sh share of this will be in cities. To achieve this, the EU Bank Group will finance for climate, provide for climate action and environmental sustainability by 2025, 50% of all our activities. In addition, by the end of 2020, we will align all our financing activities with goals of the Paris Agreement. There is climate in everything we do. As an important first step, we will phase out energy projects that depend on fossil fuels. And we will position EIB as an incubator for climate finance and expertise to mobilize others, helping our societies and economies transform to a low carbon future. We expect Lucy to be an indispensable tool on this journey. Maybe you would like to join. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Werner Hoyer. And um, that concludes this session. Thank you very much indeed.